your appearance on the news show that you did last night because you said something that I thought was very smart and compelling about this story, which is for much of Vince's career, he has escaped a lot of situations in which he could have gotten in trouble. And this one seems unescapable to sort of a, a logical brain, I guess you could say. Um, it's and a bad one. It's and re reading it's your story and then reading. I, I still haven't gotten through the actual lawsuit. I'm like a third through it. But what you wrote was even if. Let's just say not everything is true, even if some of it is true or a small percentage is true, those text messages, it's still bad. Okay, so I looked, I try to look at everything with, you know, like with the, especially in a, a lawsuit like this, you know, I mean, and you, you know, it's being written to make it the worst it could possibly be. Yes. So, you know, you, of, of course, when you read this, you're going to be completely outraged. Um, but so, but you have to look at, okay, what let's, let's just, if, you know, I was thinking about this, let's just pretend that every single thing related to Vince that she claims essentially is not true, but we do know that the texts are real. Okay. The texts alone to me, he's got to be gone because the texts acknowledge that, um, I mean, the texts are horrible. But one of the things they acknowledge is that um, John Laurinaitis was having an affair with somebody who worked underneath him. Vince knew about it. Vince encouraged it. That alone, you know what I mean? That alone in, in, in you know, for a publicly traded company, the owner knew and encouraged, even if Vince did nothing with her. And obviously that's not the case. He obviously did something with her. Um you know, because if you read the text, that's obvious too. So it's like there's no, there's no defending that Vince should be in this company anymore. And and the corporate, the the other thing with the text is the corporate culture that that shows from the text is horrible. I mean, it's it's like the you know, it's like it's I I hate to say it like this, but it's like we know. We pretty much know certain aspects of certain parts of that corporate culture uh, for decades because of Vince leading it. OK, but this was far worse than, you know, the worst imaginations of what that was, you know, and, and I, you know, and it's, you know, it was Vince, you know, sometimes I think like, what about all these, all these other people who knew? And they did. But the thing is, is like, OK, can you? blame i mean they're all underneath vince so it's like why didn't they you know do something they really couldn't because it's vince's company and if they tried they'd be they'd be fired so i sympathize with that to a degree but then there's uh, a moral standard that people are going to bring up by them not doing something they you know this thing is allowed to happen and it's it's it, it, it was allowed to happen um and it, it it's you know and but the thing is it's it happened with knowledge of many people and some of them it's like it's, you're, you're almost talking about like you kind of sit back and let it happen at some point man that's a tough one you know um you know you have been employed by yourself for all of these years so uh but you've also dealt with situations you've you've dealt with this scenario you've heard stories with this scenario i can even go back and think back to early days of uh my career in an office and things that were sort of like okay in the year 2000 are like way not okay right now based on how yes. society works but thinking that this but, but this was never okay no, no no not not at all but thinking of how far back he has been in charge and i'm not saying that everything in her lawsuit is true or false like that's not for me to judge but let's say that some of it is like that behavior does not start for someone in their 70s who has been in Ab charge absolutely, forever absolutely absolutely not so that i think that's you know lance storm said on wrestling observer live that 
you know, they really do need to to clean house. I don't know. I didn't. I saw. I saw the short clip. I didn't see the whole show. I don't know if he meant get rid of people or really investigate people. But the fact of the matter is, is if there is this one story, and if there is a pattern like there usually is, because we can go back to Bill Cosby, and well, Bill Cosby was doing this stuff for decades, for years, right? For decades. So the, look, if look, there look, is a look, pattern. Look, look, look. There might be other stuff out there that they need to make sure that they know exists or doesn't exist but we know of multiple women dating back to the mid 80s that he has made payments to we know this okay so it is a pattern um you know it, it's not a one person it's a he said she said when it's if it's one person you kind of go okay it's one person and you try to judge on the merits of the, of the situation and look at both sides when it's multiple people over the course of multiple decades um it it rings far truer and you know this is um this is really ugly it's um you know when i when i was reading when i was reading it you know it's like again like i have heard plenty of stories and in 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 regards to this this was way worse now now maybe it's way worse because it's embellished maybe but even if you take out like if you if you take this and just again just look at the text messages that's enough for me when i look at that and i look at that behavior and just like man there's there's you know there is no defending vince mcmahon and 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 john laurinaitis there's none and that's you know um and John, you know, John Laurinaitis is long gone and he will not be back. And Vince, you know, I mean, he he sh he should be he should be long gone and and never be back. I mean, it's, that's I I I I will I cannot even accept any other um, you know, um, you know, reaction to this than that. I like to ask my wife certain questions about some of this stuff. Oh boy. She, gonna, you go first. I'll, t I, I'll tell you my story. <laughs> so she's a, she's a school psychologist, right? So she's uh, she deals with a lot of things that are mentally taxing. Uh, and so when I told her, you know, I, not that I was worried about doing this show, it's just knowing how many people listen to the show and knowing how aggregated the show can become. Like you start getting in your head a little bit about, man, I have to really be on my P's and Q's when talking yeah, about don't, don't say something stupid. Yeah. Yeah. So I was just telling her about that. And she said, well, does any of this Vince stuff surprise you? And I said, not surprised, but it's kind of like the devil is in the details. When you read them, you just get ill. Even if, Maybe you heard certain things here and there because the the, Jan the Janelle Grant story is in the Washington Square Journal piece from Ju uh, was it June or July of 2022. She just wasn't named, but the er the early pieces of, of that story are in there, and so you kind of knew that you know the 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 straw man of this story. But when you read the details, it's horrific. Like the the the, the lawsuit reads like a horror film. Yeah, it, in po at points it does. Yeah, um, you know, you know my girlfriend, and you know her background, and she deals with people. You know, um, you know, at, at a power level, you know, yes. similar similar to Vince McMahon. Yes, and companies that are much larger than Vince McMahon's company, and you know, her, and and, and you know, she's she's not naive to any of this because. You know, she's 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 followed this story since the first Wall Street Journal story. But I mean, like her thing was like it, it, you, you can just imagine her reaction. It was really horrible. Um, you know, just, you know, like like, you know, like like the word because it's imagine again a woman reading this yeah. and a woman who deals, you know, with high level business and all this and and could be, you know, in theory, like in vision, like you could be trapped in this, too. I mean, yes, you could say no. And and, and I mean, and I'm not sure people will defend, try to defend him. And if Jerry McDivitt was around, which he's not anymore, you know, I mean, I would suspect that by this afternoon, I would have a whole background check on her with all kinds of sorted things. Even even so, it, it's like it's like um, it doesn't matter her background. 
doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter to me if she was willingly compliant. It's, it's not about her. This is about Vince and what Vince said and what Vince, you know, knew and acknowledged and what Laurinaitis knew and what happened there. And that is, you know, it's way out of it's way beyond anything that that should be deemed acceptable. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you? WrestlingObserver.com. You have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, as noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer newsletter. You also get Observer archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.